Bucks hosting the Pelicans, and the Bucks are anywhere between nine and ten point favorites. The over under is two thirty three and a half. The Bucks are minus four twenty on the money line, and the Pelicans are plus three twenty. The Pelicans have lost their last seven games. The Bucks have won their last three games. Now, before you bet on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are actually playing in this game. And then use a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casino's pricings, whether you want to bet over-unders, money lines, point spreads. It'll give you everything right there so you can pick the best casino for whichever line you'd like to bet. Now, head-to-head, the Bucks are on a two-game winning streak against the Pelicans. The Bucks are 7-3 and three against the Pelicans in their last 10. The favorite has won the last three games. The favorite is 6-4 and four against the spread. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The over has hit in their last five games. The over is 9-1. and one. The home team is 6-4. and four. And the over 233 and a half is eight and two in their last 10 meetings. The home team has won four out of the last five games that they've played against each other. The Bucks won the last game 128 to 119. The game before that, they won 136 to 113. The game before that, the Pelicans won 116 to 112 in overtime. The game before that, the Bucks won 129 to 125. The Pelicans don't play so well on the road. They're 9 and 15, while the Bucks are excellent at home. They're 19 and 5. As I said, the Pelicans have lost their last seven games, and in those games, they've only covered four of them. The last four games that they've played, the Pelicans have gone under. We've had 216 points, 213 points, 197 points, and 196 points. Now, for the Bucks, they've won their last three games. They've covered six out of their last 10 games and two out of the last four. We've had a combined 272, two, uh, 195, 280 points, and 216 points. And every time I think the Bucks games are going to go over because they've been trending under, or every time I think they're going to go under, they go over. So food for thought here. But I'm going to take the Bucks with the money line. I'm going to take the Pelicans getting the 10. I think that's a lot. And I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.